Hello everyone, welcome to JM Art Town. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a monoprint using Screenprint Monotype, which gives you the freedom to try different techniques in a less expensive way. Okay, let's get started. I wanted to create a 6 by 8 inches print so I have prepared this piece of paper, set it underneath the screen so I can see it through the screen and start putting down a little bit of tape. Why am I doing this? Because with tape, I can mark my printable area on this screen, clean and clear, also to prevent the ink from going everywhere on my print. Don't forget to tape the edges as well. It can also help stronger your screen. To make it easier, I have my key drawing ready on this piece of paper, now I can start tracing it on my screen. This way I can avoid mistakes which cannot be fixed while you're already working on the screen. And you see I have a plastic sheet to cover my key drawing, because I don't want any inks go on the paper, in case it does. Especially, when I'm using too much ink on the surface, sometimes, things happen. Alright, let's start the drawing. I'm using screen printing ink in this project. You can also try with Karen Dosh Neo Color Eye Wax Pastels or Karen Dosh Supercolor Soft Aquarelle. They all work well but will bring you different experience. Like I said, I'm using the water-based screen print inks for this project. Here I have blue, magenta, red, white, yellow, and black. I'll create my own colors from these. Here we go. It's time for the greatest part, tracing out the design. Remember to start with the layer that come the top on your print. Like in my design, the fish should go underneath the net on my print so when I start, I started with the net first. Another thing to remember here is that once you start working on this part, make sure you complete it all the way through, within a reasonable time, otherwise your ink will get dried out. Now, what's next? One more step to go and I'll be done. Let me take my key drawing out. As you can see, there is a little ink here, that's why it is necessary to have a mylar or a plastic sheet to kind of protect my key drawing. Here is transparent base, we use it to loosen pigment and that's how it works to transfer the drawing into the paper. Let me spread it evenly then we're ready to go. Now use a squeegee, pull it and push ink through screen onto paper. For me, I wanna pull it one more time. You don't have to if you think you already applied enough force. Are you ready to see the result? 
You see it sticked on the screen cause I didn't use a repositionable spray mount to help it stay on the table. Okay, here the result. Well, it wasn't as I expected so I will definitely try a new one later. But before it, I wanna show you a ghost print from this one. What is a ghost print? A print that has been pulled off a plate that has not been ranked after printing. This creates a soft, or ghostly impression, that's why it's called a ghost print. Ghost prints can often be reworked with additional runs through the press to add more visual information, and are often the basis for some interesting work. As I said earlier about making a new print, here I have re-inked my drawing carefully, this time should be better. Hang tight for the result. In the meantime, let's talk a little bit about this technique, monoprint. It is a very fast process that will allow you to generate many prints fairly quickly. No one print will be exactly the same as another, that's why it's named monoprint, but they will all resemble each other somewhat, due to the fact that they came from one initial source. Okay. This time I have a pretty clean print, this is much better than the first one as you can see. I love it. Every print is unique with monoprint. It's fun to play with this technique as it's an inexpensive way to do, you should try one too. Thanks for watching and staying with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, I'm more than happy to answer your question. See you all in my next videos.